Oh, it is 1223. Um, goals uh, for today. Jump and clean this freaking living room and clear off the kitchen table. It still has all my fucking art shit on here. I need to consolidate all my shit to one room and not have them spread in between the kitchen and the living room. So, um, I don't have to keep all this shit out of here because I, I need to organize all of it. I need to honestly like, continue to work even in through all the uh, bullshit and setbacks because that would make you, that's what sets you apart, honestly. I already talked about this, but consistency has been the whole fucking my whole fucking deal with this whole thing is just practicing consistency, doing it. And when you don't want to do it, even when you run into walls, even when it seems like the stars you know, are, are, are lined against you, um, we'll keep moving forward. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've had almost damn near every setback I could possibly have using this laser engraver. Um, I don't think I finished one piece of work that I started with this laser engraver. It's been pretty rough. Um, I still do need to get a 10 watt one because I, I'm, I'm around, I am running into a lot of issues. I can't even, I got some board that was like this thick. I couldn't cut it. That should be able to cut it. No, I wasn't able to. So I think I'm gonna just, I am gonna return that probably and, and, and get a stronger one. But yeah, just, just I, I'm gonna get one. Just obviously I'm gonna have the money for it. A 10 watt will be fine. They look like they're right around three hundred dollars. Oh, this Creality one's actually on sale. I like Creality because I have their three D printer, so that might be the one I go with. Who knows? Let's see. What else am I doing? So yeah, little brother's birthday. So right now, went to the hair store to get some hair um, products, and I got like some oils and stuff like that. And I've told you guys already, but I like to mix um, oils and make new scents that essentially aren't available granted i am using other scents but you know make it easy because uh, that'd be a whole nother hobby i have to get into if i go from the base fucking scent now what it is certain oils that i wouldn't mind getting but we, you know we can start on that right now um so like jim make my brother this i think i might either start on uh the Bengals license plate i have to fucking remake it in this and that's gonna take a little bit, but while that's going, I think I'm gonna clean up. Um, I ain't gonna think I'm gonna clean up. I'm going to clean up the living room. But right now, oil, and I'm gonna straighten up the living room a little bit before I come back from the gym, before I leave to go to the gym, just because I don't, I want to come back and not have too much to do. Um, so they got cool water. I think cool water is like a rip off of island, not island water, fresh water. I don't know, some kind of creed scent. I think is what this is a, a, a dupe of. And I had another oil, I just don't know where the fuck it is. It's, it's, it's really fucking irritating me because that's the one I, I want to use. And I have no clue where it is. Because I uh, also got this. This is like a dupe of Aventus. And this is black butter. I think it's just made by that those people. Um, obviously, none of these scents smell directly like those scents. Uh, they typically change like one or two like, things about it to make it seem to smell like it, but not too close. Um, which obviously that works for me because there's always something about the other scents I don't like. Anyways, and I'm gonna change it. So um, I like this black butter. I'm a little stuffed up right now, but this is like a. I'm gonna say this is an earthy scent. How can I describe this? Um, uh, words to describe scents. Um, Let's see. Oh shit, I was chopping. Okay. Um maybe incense amber. Maybe maybe water on the end. Or maybe like mossy woods. Oh no, it's not that strong. I don't know. I don't think I'm the best at describing incense. But it smells good. So basically, I have the alcohol. What the fuck did I do with it? Didn't I bring it over here? Yeah. Okay. So this is the alcohol. I use to uh, basically um, uh, make it into a, a parfum. So you can use any fucking ethanol uh, as long as it's like a certain proof. People are gonna sell you like a glorified, this is specifically for fucking perf perfumes. They all fucking are fine. Uh, 
all gonna be pretty fucking pricey anyways. I think that bottle's like maybe like 30 bucks. Uh, I think. Let's see. Ethanol. Oh, no, that's 13 bucks. Temperate ethanol fume alcohol. They jump up, you know. Um, 32 bucks. But anything, honestly, you just, it's literally just to prove that you're looking at. So, like I said, this works. This is only 13 bucks, actually. I lied. It wasn't that much. Or, I don't remember paying 13 bucks. I remember paying way more than 13 bucks. Or whatever. Um, does not contain methanol. But yeah. Anyways. So, I think the ratio, anything above 30% is like pretty much like a high... Anything above 30% like oil to alcohol ratio is considered like good. It should be a strong scent that should last pretty long. Uh, and I don't know what happens when you go over that 30%. I don't know if it gets too oily or if it just doesn't spray as well or if you only will get up only to up to like 30% is, 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 uh, um, like it's no point. The, the, the upgrade that you would get from adding more oil, it, it, it plateaus. Maybe that's what it is. Who knows? I got this cool water. It smells good. Hold on. Cool water. I think one was mine. I don't remember. I bought him. I bought him one oil because he said he wanted the oil. So I'm gonna just give that to him. But I'm also gonna make him this one. Maybe I should make him a bigger one. Cause I have a bigger bottle. Now nah, I give him a smaller one. If he uses this smaller one, then I make him a bigger one. Cause I don't know how often he actually fucking uses it or would use it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this cool, uh, cool water, which I think is the uh, Aventus. I'm gonna go a little bit more. This might be like the base scent, honestly. Because I think, I think, I like fresh. I like um, pretty much, I like the teeter on the line between um, a male, uh, a female can get away almost with, with, with more of my scent. Um, so I, I like to stay. Right in between, maybe a smidge citrusy, a little bit florally. Uh, it, it, it's obviously a balance, um, but fresh, fresh notes is probably my favorite. My favorite range to stay in. Um, so let's put this top back on this because that's oh damn, I use way more than I thought I was. Oh well, that's cool. I wasn't expecting to use this much of the bottle. Well, I didn't mean to, but it's cool. Cause he said he wanted a regular oil too, so I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to my other fucking oil. I don't know what the hell it is. And it's really pissing me off. Cause that one was smaller, but more just about as expensive. Oh yeah. Um, let's go back. I think this would be good. This um, this Vintus, uh, Vintus one, I think of the original, this is uh, like way more citrusy. Um, I don't remember the, the other one had like a, a smizz, a, 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 a sit. This is really, really citrusy, this dude. So like, it's not like the original. I don't remember the original one being this citrusy. So I said a little bit of that because I think I'm gonna do this black butter. I want to do this, but I think this might be a little bit too strong for him. This Bouvari, the uh, Bougari, I don't know, Bouvari, whatever, however you said. Men in Black, I think that's, um, I never heard of that cologne until I tried the oil. The oil was pretty good, so. I'm definitely probably have to pick up an actual uh, cologne of that. Because these I kind of wear daily, and I kind of just experiment. It might change a bit depending on how I feel. And then when, like, when I go out to like, a, a nicer event or somebody's, then I whip out. I don't say the real shit, but I whip out the real shit. I like uh, Lilla Bow, it's probably one of my favorites. And. I don't really buy dupes of them. I did. I wasn't the biggest fan of the dupe, so. Unfortunately, I just gotta shell out all that fucking money once a year. And so I'm already pretty fucking close to about a third of the bottle. And I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this scent. Um, it's also wearing the scents. Um, it's gonna lay on your, it's gonna smell different on you than how it's gonna smell on your body. And versus, when you first put it on versus how it grows on you. So, oh no, that smells fire. That smells pretty fucking good, actually. Uh, I gotta change it because I'm, <laughs> I'm on one bit. <laughs> That's good. Um, I feel like he needs like a heavier scent though. I feel like he needs, I feel like I could see him being a woodsy. He's young, so he don't really got his own scent yet. I could definitely be, see him being a little woodsy. 
I'm gonna add a smidge of this black butter. It looks like we already getting around a third of this bottle. Honestly, that's already probably a little bit past the third, but eh, whatever. I think this is the longest I've recorded since, for, I don't know, for a while. Give it a little swirly swirl. Oh, that's a dope color too. Well, can't really see it anymore, but it kind of just looks, it's like, it has like a hint of blue in it. I don't know if you can see it, but whatever. Um, okay. I ran out of places on my body to, oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Um, and then pretty much I can fill this up with the rest of the alcohol. Now let me double, let me double check. Cause I'm 90% sure you want like one thirds of this, uh, of perfume. Um, alcohol, actually let's do this. Ethanol to perfume oil ratio. Hey, up 30. Okay. Ooh. I did, I, I did one third, not 30%. Oh, oh, fuck. When I read it, I read a third. This says use a goddamn 30%. So this is well over 30%. And this is, I don't I just said some dumb as hell. You know what I said? You didn't hear that. Um, um that's right. Seen a 30% essential oil. Or what I said. Anyways, I don't have any distilled water. Just realize that, but I might just add. I might just add. Uh, I might just add that. The, uh, we're making three percent total essential oils. Your formula would be twenty five percent ethanol. I don't. Know. What? Hold on. I'll be back. I gotta. <laughs> so what I did before is fine. Uh, I just don't have any distilled water, but uh, I haven't really run into any problems, so I don't really think it's too big of an issue. Worst case scenario, I can go pick up some at the store, which I might just end up doing actually. I'm curious to see how it changes everything because ethanol is the most thing. It's the majority, um, you know. Um, so, is it? I might have to take a shower. I think my brain is like overloaded because I didn't smell. <laughs> I didn't smell anything. I smell it now. I think I have a lot of like scents going on. I don't know. I think that's why they be having like you smell like coffee beans and other shit like that to like clear your nose palate. I don't know. Clear your Whatever. But I think that smells good. I can't really smell it right now. It's a little. I just have them taste. I mean, taste it. Try it. Um. Oh, duh. That's a easy way to smell it. No, that smells good. I'm put a smidge more of ethanol in there. Cause I have like fucking forty percent oil in that bitch. That shit is strong as hell. All right, so there's a little custom perfume I made him. I know I want I wanted a better bottle to put this in, but uh, he'll be all right for now. I really want to do something with this Bulgari Black though, because I really like the way it smells. It's not really my type of scent though. I'm not sure if I actually like the cologne, but I like. I feel like I can make something really, really fucking dope with this. Now, if I fucking had. If I had that, uh, my other fucking oil, I would make something, but I don't know where the fuck it is. It's pissing me off. It's pissing me off. Also, this Baccarat Rouge 540. It smells good. Um, this one's really sweet. I, I have a feeling that the real one isn't that isn't that sweet. Because you know, when they label it, they label it as, you know, his, his or hers or like a, it's a, it's a pretty androgynous scent. I don't know if that's the right word for it. To describe unisex unisex actually smells good the bouvari back in the baccarat room not really my scent but i can see somebody liking that oh my god that smells good that's a good combo like i smell that on somebody else but not for me <laughs> i like lighter just something a bit less that's just like hey motherfucker i just walked in i smell good you might be tired of smelling me by the next 40 minutes but i smell good I like that. Okay, I'm right here on you. We talking. Blah, 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 blah. I walk away. You see, my scent lingers and it, and like it, it follows you because off my trail. I'm standing here and you're constantly just in the, just smelling it the whole time. I don't really like stuff like that. Well, this is done. Um, I think I might make me one. And goal is to try to leave before one thirty. Hey Google, set an alarm for 1.30. All right, your alarm set for 1.30 p.m. Cool. 
Hey Google, set an alarm 15 minutes from now. You got it. Your alarm set for 1.05 p.m. All right, so I need to beat the fucking out of here. Um, yeah, my, my brother's birthday. Karaoke, hitting up his uh, Mexican. We're going to get Mexican. It's a really fucking dope ass place with some of the best fucking food. Oh my God. I don't know what I was eating before, but I feel like this is actually like really good meat, uh, Mexican. But at least it's good as I'm gonna get being here in the U. Well, here in my city. I don't know. But I'll see you guys right at the gym. Well, I am here. Um, right now, I don't know why. Motivation to be here is like, like motivation to do anything. It's not there at all. Not really. I'm not quite sure why. Motivation's not there yet. Um, hopefully, like the workout kicks in and cramps that up, or you know, maybe I just need to warm up and get in the groove. But right now, motivation is definitely, definitely not there. Um, I think I'm gonna just try to do like a little full body day. Probably be here a little bit longer than what I normally would. I do bench press, uh, leg press, obviously abs and swing, all those, and out with hip thrust, kettlebell swings, I mean. Oh, I guess I could do hip thrust. Nah, I'll do leg press. I think leg press would be better. This is something I'm already gonna be doing like that. Hip thrust later in the workout, so. I already need to clean my other shoes, because I still got these big old Jordans on, and it looks kind of goofy. Uh, just those other shoes. All right, that paint on them, it's gonna take a little while to clean. We can throw them in the washer. After having to soak with some acetone, it's gonna be a long annoying process, so. This has been low-key kind of avoiding it. Maybe when I go home, I'll set up a little bucket that it could sit in. Well, it's like three pairs of shoes, actually. Four. Two of them have paint. Two of the gym shoes I wear have paint. One of the chucks I wear got a little bit of paint on it. Then my other shoes are just need to be washed. I painted some dogs, my dad's dogs, and they stunk. And now the shoes stink. So, hopefully, doesn't fuck with the machine. I uh, don't think it will, but we'll see. Maybe else. I think that's it. I might be able to do that today. I don't know. I'll probably do that today. Instead of making a license plate, I'll probably just put a license plate on for the night. Alright. I walk backwards for the last minute, and I'll see you guys. Hey, I'm not recording here. Can you be?